Hey guys, this is Brandon with FTPTraining.com and this is another quick tip. So for today's quick tip, I wanna show you what happens when, let's say, a client wants to change a graphic out, okay? I work with a graphics guy and he sends me graphics and so uh, there was a change that needed to be done. Well, I had gone through already and had done 62 of these videos, okay? So I got frustrated at first, but then I remembered this is how cool Final Cut is with reconnecting media. So basically what I'm going to do is if I click on this intro outro and I'm going to click here in the middle so you guys can see this. Basically all the client wanted to do was add a copyright symbol. I'm going to show you real quick how I do it. Uh, basically what I'm doing is all of the media is being referenced right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my downloads folder and here's the old one and then here's the new one. And I asked the graphics guy to keep everything the exact same uh, naming convention. Of course, when you download it, uh, the finder always adds like a one or however many you download right after it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to hit return so I can pull up the rename option. I'm going to hit return again after I took off the one. So now all I do is I bounce back to Final Cut. And there it is. See how it just added the C there for the, the copyright? Again, that's just something that my client wanted. That's what I ended up doing. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is, if I come back up here to the top, if I double click one of these, just wanna confirm that it's there. And there it is. So that's how cool it is. I could have sat there and gone through 62 of these again, but think about how much time that just saved me. I hope that that helps you guys out a lot. Again, my name is Brandon with FTPTraining.com, and until next time. Go to FTPTraining.com for other tutorials, templates, and Final Cut Pro tools.